Howdy folks, I'm Rich Sony, and this is Goodbye Gooey, Terminal Foundations by Code Riffs, Week 1, Episode 2. Today is so exciting because I'm going to show you how to transition between the terminal and the finder and then back from the finder to the terminal. So everything you learn in this course, you'll be able to use and then fall back on the finder if you need to. Before we do that, I just want to review paths because it's essential to understand them for this process of switching I'm going to show you today. So if we look at this directory I'm in, the Moppity directory, let's go ahead and open it in here as well so we could just take a look. Rich code forks Moppity. I'll drag it out. Okay, so we're in this directory, and we want to. If we run the ls and we pass a path in, we can pass it in and keep our parent directory or uh, our current directory here while we're looking at the files here and the files here. So let's take a look. If we do docs, we can see the docs folder directory is still Moppity, and if we do then static as well and run our parent directory, or uh, pr uh, print my working directory, sorry. Uh, we're still here in Moppity. And same goes for going back. So if we do back one folder, tune.io, whatever, this folder here, and then this one will be two back. And if you look in the list I have, the the going back actually makes sense because if you do dot, it means current. And ls assumes as a command that if you provide no path, you want the current directory. But you can also provide it as a dot and two dots. It's like current but back one. So dot, dot. And that's all we have on paths. Paths can also be files as well. So now I want to show you how to transition between finder and terminal, terminal and finder. Let's take a look first at how to transition from the terminal to the finder. And that's with the open command. So if you want to transition, say, so if you all of a sudden need to use the finder, because say you need to like rename a file and you don't know how to do that yet, I didn't teach you yet, you can always just open the current directory like I showed you and its default program, which is finder which is awesome. So look, we're here. If I close this window, it's closed. And I open, say, the tests directory, it'll open a new finder window with what we have in it. We can also run this command for text files because they are paths as well. And it'll open in its default file. Here we have default or dev requirements in text edit, its default program. If you want to CD to a certain path, say you're in Finder and you find some folder, you just are like, oh, I want to go to music, iTunes, iTunes media. If you want to CD to this folder, you can type CD and you can go up here and you see this little folder at the top of the Finder window. If you click on it the right way, it'll turn colors and you can drag it down into your terminal and it'll copy the path. And now we are in the iTunes media folder. So that's how you go from finder to terminal. And you can go back the other way. And also you can do this with text edit, which is awesome as well. When you learn how to do things on files, if you like need to rename the file or something, you can get it from there. So that's it. Those are the only commands I'm teaching you this week. Open, PWD, CD, and LS. The rest of the week, I'm going to show you how to move around using those commands quicker. Just a couple little shortcuts. And that is so awesome. You'll love it. You'll love it. So I'll see you next time.